Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. That's the way I normally start these podcasts. I know Vusi Tembekwayo has his own signature way of doing his podcast. It starts with Hello Family and then he continues and so on. So anyway, good morning, good evening and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever place it is that you're joining on Life Signatures Radio. This is a daily show, a daily episodes where we talk about purpose, productivity and resilience and normally we deploy these shows using series and every time we are talking about a particular topic that is of interest either in the area of purpose in the area of productivity or in the area of resilience and we go deep into it and we learn in this series we are talking about motivation and we're talking about the external motivators in our lives we're looking at the five types of people five types of people who give us motivation so that we can become better human beings and we can do things that are going to help us to extract all the potential that we do have. Today we're going to look at the third type. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. We will get started today by going to do a recap. And this recap is going to help us to see where we've come. We've talked about motivation, that it's the channel through which humans develop. That there is nothing that you can see around you that is of grandeur, something that is of pride, something that is of success, that has been done by a human being that lacked motivation. We said in the previous episodes that if you take motivation outside of the human race, you don't need to have people killing each other. They will die naturally. Motivation is what drives humanity. Motivation is what drives us to become better, to do things, to, I mean, access success at personal levels, at community levels, at corporate levels. I mean, if you removed motivation from any one of us, from any organization, whether it's a country or it's a corporate or entity, it's a community, if you removed motivation from an individual, from a family, You've killed them. That's why you guys need to stop bashing motivational speakers. And I know there are quacks out there who do do things, you know, lying, being inauthentic and so on. But let me tell you something. You will do yourself great favor if every morning you tune on to some form of motivation. It could be this podcast that I try as much as possible to put some level of motivation inside of the podcast. Even as for the most part, it's about teaching. It's about sharing information on purpose, productivity, and resilience. But every single morning, find something that motivates you. It could be someone speaking into your life. It could be a preacher. It could be a speaker. It could be a motivator. It could be some of these videos that have been curated specifically to help you change your attitude, help you to go deeper into your potential, help you to rise up above the limitations that you're having, help you to rise up above fear. You need motivation on a daily basis. Don't do without it. We live in a day and in an age where there's a lot of areas or places where you can go and you can get motivation. You can go to YouTube and there are thousands upon thousands of motivational channels on YouTube, on podcasts, on Twitter. I mean, they just access this information and tune into some motivation. But looking at some people in our lives who will help us with our internal motivation. And the first 
first kinds of people are those ones who are going to give us competition. Competitors are the first kinds of people who will help us to be motivated. Why? Because competition helps you to live above your level of, uh, I mean, your standards that you've been keeping. And it introduces you to other levels, new levels. If you're running 10 kilometers for 45 minutes, that's all you know all these years and you're excited about it until you join a group of people who are running 30 minutes, 10, minutes, 10 kilometers for 30 minutes and all of a sudden you are motivated to become better, to improve on your level. That's why competition is important. Are you a writer? Are you a blogger? Are you a business person? Are you a social media enthusiast? Are you a secretary? Are you a manager? Are you a president? Of whatever it is, you need competition. You need people who can compete with whom you can compete with, who you can compete against. Just make sure that this competition you're not going there to kill people so they can become better. Yesterday we said that you need pace setters. Pace setters are people who, whose job is specifically in athletics is to make other people shine. But even in life, we need pace setters. Who are these? These are guys who are going ahead of us, or guys who are doing much better than we are. And their sole purpose in our relationship with us is to make us to shine, to make us to be better. So they could, they are not necessarily coaches because they are also involved in the same sport or in the same thing that we are doing, in the same area of productivity that we are in. But they do come alongside to help us to become better. So look for pace setters in your life. Today I'm going to talk about the most common level of motivation, the most common types of people that help us with motivation. And these are colleagues. Colleagues. These are people on the same level with us. It's very interesting how much you can be able to learn from colleagues. They are people on the same level as yourself. And again, using the analogy of athletics and sports, you have seen that once in a while, once a game or a sport is over, they congratulate each other. They don't beat each other up. They congratulate each other. They are in the same sport, the same competition, but they are also colleagues. When a colleague rises above to perform at a high standard, they get instantly motivated to do the same thing. I mean, other people get instantly motivated to do the same thing. When your colleague rises the bar, let me tell you this, when your colleague, you're on the same level, maybe you same level as managers, and your colleague, she rises the bar in terms of her performance, probably she goes an extra mile and enrolls onto a professional course, and she's doing these courses and she's becoming better, this motivates you at some level to do the same. That's why I think it's Zig Ziglar, either Zig Ziglar or Jim Rohn, saying that the kind of guys that you hang around are absolutely critical in your life. If you hang around guys who are losers, you become a loser. If you hang around guys who are backbiters, you become a backbiter. Listen to this. If you hang around guys who are investors, you get motivated to become an investor. If you hang around guys who are into real estate, guess what? Sooner or later it rubs off of you and you want to do real estate. If you hang around guys who are always progressive and in terms of wanting to be successful and to be productive, it rubs off of you. You get motivated. Colleagues are very powerful because I don't know of any human being who doesn't have a colleague. Whatever place you are, whatever level you are at, believe me, you have colleagues. The challenge here is to get colleagues who are doing great stuff in their lives as compared to what you are doing. I think I've heard TD Jakes, one of these great guys saying that at some point in time they sat around the table and they looked at their board and they were the smartest in the board. I mean, people in the board were looking up to them. What did they do? They fired the board. They got a new board that had better people who were thinking better, have access 
says to much better things. In life, let us be challenged to have colleagues and gather ourselves around colleagues who are way better. It is not competition. These are colleagues on the same level. You are not competing. They are doing the same thing. You are contributing towards the same goals. But they are way better in thought. They are way better in exposure. They are way better in application. Much, much better than you are. Gather these people around you. Let them be kind of like your bone. Gather these people around you to help you with your life. These are colleagues. These guys are going to help you to get motivated. Because when a colleague raises the bar to perform at high standards, other people instantly get motivated to pass. It is therefore important to surround yourself with such like people who are high class achievers. They will motivate you. Without saying, I mean, goes without saying, they will motivate you. Your inner circle is people who are well dressed. You become one of them. If they talk about economics and commerce, you become one of them. If they are motivated, you become one of them. The opposite is also true. Tomorrow we're going to look at the third kind of external environment. Tomorrow we're going to look at the ki- the third kind of external motivation that is going to help us with getting motivated. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.